Get ready team, today we've got a full body compound workout that's gonna hit every muscle of your body. There are 38 moves, 45 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna go by so fast because it's no repeat and I want you to use that medium to moderate weight. Compound moves mean multi-joint, so we're gonna be using a lot of muscles in each movement here. Equipment is a variety of dumbbells. My lowest is gonna be five, and the highest weight that I'm gonna use is a 30-pound dumbbell. A mat and your amazing body. We will finish this workout with an ab finisher that's five minutes long. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any workouts. You want more content? Oh my gosh, I know you do. Click that join button below so you can get access to that and live workouts. Roll your shoulders back, brace your core. We're gonna be starting with a squat kick. Reach for that toe. In your squat, drop back to your heels. Keep your eyes lifted. And then as you kick, you're trying to reach for the toe, but if you can't touch it, don't worry. Just that little kick is gonna to help to stretch out that hamstring. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, no. Turn out sumo squat, drop down. Now hands go down, straighten the legs, bend the knees, reach up. Stay low, straighten the legs, and then bend and reach up. When you go into that reach up, brace the core. Lift the head and shoulders before you start to rise up. Baby, I got Reverse lunge, taking your left leg back, twist to the right knee, step in and switch. Keeping the eyes and shoulders up and lift it back. Keep your feet separated, because I got you, I won't let you fall. Keep length in your torso. We're gonna be coming to a plank and then a down dog. So step back into your plank and then take your time going to down dog, give it a stretch and then back into your plank. You can even drop the hips a little bit in your plank, kind of opening up the chest a little. Inhale, you lower, exhale, you press up, hold plank, step front foot forward in lunge. Open up that arm, runner's lunge with a twist. Hand down, switch legs. As you step the foot forward, drop in the hips and then open up to that side. Let's do one more in each leg here. Step to the front, you're right on that right side. Two lateral steps over, and you can open and close that chest. Toes and knees forward, eyes up. I know, I wanna go to the beat, how about you? I'm gonna pick it up, how about you? Enough the slow. Stay low, keep the knees in that bent position here. And twist it out. Each move is done for 45 seconds with a 15 second transition. We're gonna have one heavy dumbbell, kind of moderate so that you can do a curl press with a lunge. I'm gonna have that weight in my left hand. Are you ready to go? I got a 15 in my hand. Start with the weight low. Stepping back with the left leg. Curl it up and then press. Step back in. So as you step back, you're gonna bicep curl. And then when you're at the bottom of the lunge, you're gonna press the weight up. So it's a hammer curl, shoulder press. 
So eyes are lifted. And you want more out of this, make sure you stay low in that lunge when you do that shoulder press. Keep your chin up. Take your time. Keep those feet separated so you don't feel like you're going to fall. And load wise, we're in that moderate range. All right, we're switching it to the other side. So weight is shifting to the other side. Other leg is moving. Roll your shoulders back. Keep your core nice and tight. Curl lunge. Stay with it. Press. I like my hand kind of reaching out. It helps with stability. And these are compound movements today, which means multi-joint. Usually helps to get that heart rate up. It'll also feel like a Metcon workout for you today. I know some of you love those, right? Goblet squat, lifting the right heel, left heel, and then squatting down. I'm gonna use one 30 pound dumbbell, opening up the feet. So we'll come down into that goblet squat, lift right, left heel, drop, hold, right heel, left heel, rise up. So you're gonna hold that squat, which is kind of tough, and then press through the heels to rise up. Now that weight is up against your chest. That's gonna help you stay more upright so you're not leaning forward. I just wanna make you mine. Mine, my, my. Elbows tuck in. Mine. Mine, my, my. I just wanna make you mine. And really lift those heels up. Put your weight down, take a breather. We're gonna go back into goblet squat, but this time we're stepping it in. Step it back out, sink into that goblet squat, and then alternate that step in. Open up, weight up. Drop, step in, and then the other side. So that we get some inner thigh with the outer thigh in that goblet squat. Okay, tuck in those elbows, weight close to the chest. My elbows tap my thighs. You want to go nice and low. Inhale, you lower down. Exhale, you're zipping up. We have an RDL, Romanian deadlift, to a lunge. Two weights that are medium. I'm gonna use my 15s. Right leg stays, weight close to the leg as you tip down, then step back, left leg, bring the weights up, and lunge. So that's the Romanian deadlift. Weight comes up, lunge back. Tip forward. In that RDL, right? Push through the heel, brace the core as you rise up. If your balance is really off, right, just, you can tap that foot back. That can help you out. And having a flat surface is really important here too. So you don't wobble. Super job, put your weight down for a moment so you can relax your back. We're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, that Romanian deadlift. You wanna grab them now. I know it was a short break. Left leg stays. So it feels like you're just shaving that leg a little bit with the weights. And then you rise up using the backside. So remember where you're gonna go. You're gonna hinge forward, reaching down to 
the top of your shoelaces. And you should feel a stretch in the back of the leg when you go into that RDL. So you're pressing through the heel. Moving squat. I'm gonna take my 20s, hold them up at my shoulder, step out to the right, step in, kind of staying in a squat position, and then over to the left. Start with a little narrow squat, step out right, little squat here, to the left. This one should be moderate weight. Keep that arch in your low back. You can always rise all the way up if you need to, if you need a back break. All right, I was feeling that one. Dumbbell swing, two dumbbells. I'm gonna do 12 and a half in each hand. Open the feet out, remember, it comes from the hips. Push the hips back, and then push them forward. Swing back and forward. Keep your chin lifted, eyes looking out in front. Inhale back, exhale. Give me that good push. Working a lot of backside here. So turn to the side, right? One arm. Push through the heels. Keep your eyes lifted. A little softness in those knees. We got a curtsy lunge, squat with a curl. Ooh, great job, I'm gonna go 15. Left leg's gonna step back and curtsy. Then when you squat, pull the weight up to the shoulders. Curtsy, squat. Take your time, two movements here. So you hit the curtsy first. Then come up, squat curl. All right, really drop in that curtsy. Push that hip out. It's too late. I know now. I'm giving in. I can't back down. And you're so hot. Your web of Bridge skull crusher. Great job here. You got 12 and a half on your back. Hips stay lifted as you do your skull crushers. And then we're gonna keep those weights if you can for the next two moves. Hips up, arms up. Bend your elbows. Straighten the arms. So keep your hips up. Press through the heels. In that skull crusher, just use that elbow joint to bend. You can pause at the bottom for a moment and then press them up. Now listen to the next move. Your back arm's gonna hold the weight straight up. Okay, so stay there with that bridge. Back arm holds the weight up. Front arm goes weight on the hip, and then lift the front leg. If you feel really off here, put your weight down to the ground with your hand on it. You're gonna drop the leg and the arm slightly, and then lift them up. Straight arm, a little angle the way, so it's a little pull over with a straight leg kick here. And you know what you can do? I know you wanna bring your arm all the way to your foot, just right over your shoulder or your chest. So don't bring the arm in too much. It'll make it harder. 
Don't you want that? Of course you do. Inhale, we lower down. Exhale, we bring it up. A lot going on here, so make sure you slow things down and nail the movement. All right, hold everything up. Weights go back up. Foot goes down, hold your bridge if you can. Now switch the leg, and then put that weight on that hip of the leg that's up. Just hold, and then we're gonna start to drop leg and arm. Lift back up. The leg can definitely be a bigger movement than the arm. The arm, you may even feel like you pause at the back, and then just bring it up over shoulder. And hits more in that lat. Little tricep. We are gonna be turning on our side with one dumbbell. I'm gonna keep my 12 and a half. Okay, one way is gonna go behind me, one way is gonna go in front of me. I'm gonna come onto my side, either stacking or you can have the knee down. We're gonna pull the weight to the chest and then up to the sky. Pull the weight up to the sky and down. Now you have that option too. If you need to, drop to the knee and you still work hard, believe me. Again, we don't want it to have too late. You would believe how strong you are. Keep this tight to the body. You know how we do snatches, right? Tight to the body, press it up. As the weight comes in, my elbow almost pulls back. Weight comes to the chest as I flip under. Great job, swing it to the other side, set yourself up. Remember, you can stay on the hand and stack the feet or come to that knee. Do what you need to do for your body. Pull it to the body, reach it up. Just remember, as I pull it up, get to the chest, kind of pull the elbow to the back to come underneath the dumbbell. This is like a side plank snatch. Push the ground away with that hand so you engage your obliques, your core muscles here. I'm gonna use my 20s for the next movement. You're gonna start at the front of your mat. Jen's got a mo modification for you. We're all gonna start standing up. We're gonna take it down to the ground as we step the legs back into plank. Step back into plank. And then step front foot forward, push away. And then step back into plank. Other foot forward, push away. And you can just do reverse lunges. Totally works. So if your wrists are an issue, do what you can. Sometimes the bigger waist you have gives it, makes it easier for you to come down to the ground. You can even have hands on a chair and step back. Super job. Thrust curls, kind of the same thing. You're gonna jump the feet back and in, hold low, curl the weights up. I'm gonna do 15s. Jump the feet back in, and then curl it up. Jen's got you for one squat, and then one squat curl. When I'm coming up, I'm pushing my knees out. 
eyes are lifted here. That gives you some stretch in your hips. Did you know that? <laughs> Great job. All right, overhead tricep extension. Woo, I'm gonna go for 12 and a half in each hand. It could even be one heavy dumbbell. Soften the knees, arms are up. Bend your elbows, press to the ceiling. So wide elbows, narrow. So from that side view, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over heels. What a sweat now. I don't think we need name takes. You know our names, right? I hope you know our names. Alternate kickbacks. Whew, I'm going to go for eights. I probably would use tens, but I don't have them on my stack here. You're gonna drop your chest, tuck your elbows, front arm kick back, then the back arm. Alternate that kick back. Try to stop the weight so it's kind of touching your thigh versus your shoulder. But don't let it rest on your thigh. Don't cheat. Just let it lightly touch. And you could rotate the palm up to make it feel different than that overhead extension that we just did. Pull the belly in, look out in front. Right arm is going to hold a weight. I'm going to go for 115. Squat thrust. So that one weight, I'm going to move a little over here. Squat, press, one weight. Open the feet, drop into the squat, and then press it up. So it's kind of one movement from the bottom, press it up. Inhale down, exhale, power to the top. Now the arms just kind of hang in there, helping me stay stable. Doing the same thing on the other arm. Keep that weight that you've got. Roll your shoulders back. Squat press, weight is up at the shoulder. Drop back into your heels, press it up. Now you know you're not gonna go too fast because this one gets tough. Just a few seconds into it, you're like, woo. In the right place to move. In the right place for you. Always stay up all night. Check your breathing. Watch the neon light. Press through the heel of your hand as you push that dumbbell up. Around the world. With a lateral lunge, you're gonna move to your, gonna step out to the right, come in and then to your left. Lateral lunge around the world arms and to the other side. I'm only using fives. I know you're like, oh my God, Michelle, you got just fives. I just want to be mindful of my shoulders and have a good range. 
dropping chest to thigh and then really pushing off that leg. And you could change the arms, like thumbs in, palms up. Make it work for your shoulders. Plus the core is gonna help you out here as you come in and up. We're gonna do narrow and wide bicep curls. I'm gonna go for my 15 in each hand. It's an upturn in that narrow, and the same thing when you go wide. Upturn, wide is the same thing. So when the palms go up, it makes it harder. Try to find the spot where the sun's not in my eyes, right? We're gonna be using the lighter weight. So I'm gonna use my fives again. You're gonna be in plank or you can have your knees down on the ground. Rear fly, three times on the front arm and then three times on the back arm. So you could be in plank or on the knees. I'll start with plank first. So three rear flies in the front arm. And then put the hand down, switch. And by all means, if your knees are down, I want you to push your, drop your butt a little bit, press into that front arm. I think I'm gonna stay on my knees. I feel like I can have really good form. Pull the core up and in. Give me one more to the back and you are coming on up. Sorry, stay down. We got a push up halfway down. You do a half up and then a full range. You could be knees or toes. Obviously, if you need to be, hands about outside the shoulders, plank or knees. So go down, halfway, down, all the way. And again, take your option if you're on your knees. Make sure you're kind of dropping the hips. The half range are definitely tough, right? You can do this. And then we're still gonna stay down here. All right, so we're gonna go all the way down, do a super. And then when you come back up, you're gonna down dog reach. So make sure you have room. You're not gonna hit your waist when you super. Start in plank. Lower down, reach arms and legs. Come up, down dog. Front arm reaches to the back. Leg, all the way down, super. And then switch arms in down dog reach. Lift those arms and legs. Front arm. Doesn't this one feel so good? It's like a big movement for the body. Finish was a super. Because you are super. We're up. Whew, one weight. I'm going to use a 12 and a half. You're going to step your left foot back. Weight over your shoulder. And then chop with the knee up. Lunge back, knee drive up with a chop. So step it back, pull the knee up. Whew. 
Use that breath, it's gonna help you out here. Oh, did you feel that heart rate? Okay, we're switching legs. You can always do it without weight. It feels like it's just too much for you, but I know you. You're gonna go for it. Weight in your hand. Roll your shoulders back. Lunge back. Chop knee. Inhale and then exhale, leg comes up. We have an RDL with a row. I'm gonna use my 20s. Weight shape down the legs. Stay at the bottom for the row, and then you rise back up. Feet open shoulder width. Push your hips back. Row, and then rise up. All right, so push into the heels. Pull the weight to the hips. Again, weight stay close to the body. Back is flat. I'm gonna go to 15 in each hand. Gorilla row. We start with the weight up, and then we alternate that drop of the weight. All right. Drop the chest. Elbows are up. Right arm, left arm. So your back is slightly angled. Press into your heels a little bit so your shoulders are a little higher and your hips. Chin off your chest, look out, what are you looking down at? The next couple moves, you're gonna really start to get your heart rate up here. I'm gonna use my five pound weights. Squat tap with a little punch out. Roll your shoulders back, fists by your shoulders. Tap out, Hisco, tap. Punch out. Keep it bending your knees, eyes are up. Push and pull with the weight. Pull it back to your chest. You can have high intensity with low impact here. Eyes are up, right? I'm gonna go to my eight, so you can keep what you've got if you want to. I'm gonna squat, curl, and then punch it up, and then side lift. Lots going on in this movement. Squat down, curl, press. So as you lift the leg up, punch the arms up. Stay in control of the movement. When you squat down, I want your eyes up. 
Plank shoulder tap. You can even put your hands on a chair. So shoulder tap, opposite leg taps out to the side. We're not on the beat. Top hand, front hand, back shoulder. If you really don't want to be on the ground, you can do jumping jacks or jack tap. It's just a great way to work the, co the core, the abs, your booty a little bit, your hips. And I feel like you've got more working when you're not jumping the feet out and in. You just slow it down. We're gonna stay down though. I'm gonna bring you down, <laughs> keep you down for a little bit. You're gonna be on all four in a moment. All four. Front leg extends back. Bring the knee to the outside of your elbow. Push it back, tap the leg down, up. Start with the leg up. Bring it to the outside of your elbow. Press it back, tap down, up. In, back. Really push that leg back once it touches the elbow. Your arms are still working to stabilize your body from moving too much. Relax. Other side, hands are to shoulders. That leg is gonna be starting in lifted position here. Bring it to the outside of that knee. Hold it up. Knee in, slide back, tap it down up. The music rhythm is just perfect for this. Pull that belly up and in, brace that waist. How's your body feeling? Check in with it. Is it doing great? You feeling things a little bit more now? We're gonna do an inchworm. So where you are, down dog. Walk back to your feet, roll it up, and you're gonna round down, walk out, and then walk back. You can add a jump once you return home, right? All right, here we go. Round down, walk out, walk back, bend the knees. You can add a jump. When you walk back, make sure you bend your knees right when you're walking out naturally happens, so make sure you bend your knees when you walk back. And then before you jump, lift your head up. So you squat and then jump. That'll help you with your back. Hold on to my fives, great job. All right, start to the right side of your mat. Two steps, knee up. Watch your equipment. Okay. Two steps, knee up, twist. Take your time, stay low. And then as that knee comes up, rotate the whole upper body.
Dead weights are touching, they're squeezing together. Activate this little chest. Keeping that weight, I'm gonna step back. Reverse lunge with the round the world arms again. Thumbs can go in and then palms can go up. Left leg lunge and switch. As you step back, make sure your shoulders go with your hips so you're not leaning forward. If that's too much in the shoulder joint, side raise. Oh, you guys, three seconds. We're done with this section. Woo, nice job. <sighs> Hold on, I think I got one more. Skaters, skaters. I got one more. I checked my timer. Let's go. Oh, a little punch across. Low impact again, but high in that intensity. My thumb is angled up. You can always leap if you want to, but you know what? Your joints will be happy right here. You cross the leg back, makes it harder, more core. Now we are officially done with that section. Great job, I didn't want to cheat you out of anything. Woo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get yourself a drink of water, not too much, because we're gonna do abs. And you're gonna start, have your weights. I'm gonna use my fives. You're on your back looking at the ceiling. This is gonna last us about five minutes. Weights are up, legs are up. I'm gonna reach back slightly. Front leg extends out and then switch this. Take your time. Inhale as you lower the leg down. Exhale as it comes back in. And then my weights are just a little bit behind my shoulders. Knuckles are up. Your back is going to arch a little bit when the leg extends out and then push it into the mat as you pull the leg back in. Rock yourself up. We're going to twist to the front and to the back. You could use both weights or if you need to, drop to just one. that weight all the way away and down to the ground. Legs go up. You're gonna crunch up to the feet and then drop the legs, arms can reach back. Legs go up and then crunch up and drop. So you're reaching for those feet. We're gonna flip it onto forearm plank. Weights just drop at your size. Hip drops, so dropping knee, hips to the front and to the back. And 
as the hips come to center, you want to feel that you exhale, draw in. Holding forearm plank, center. As one knee comes in, you tuck under and then drop the hips. So lifting the hips as the knee drives in. Exhale as the knee comes in. Inhale, step it back. We're flipping, grabbing those weights again. Reverse crunch. Weights go up. Knees come in towards the chest. And then extend the legs out. So arms are kind of extended up and back. Helps to kind of anchor you. Feet go down, weight in front of the eyes. You're gonna crunch up, one knee comes up and switch. Arms are staying pretty much at a 90 degree angle here. We're going to finish this off with a flutter. Knees come in, arms go up, extend the legs out, start to flutter the arms or the legs. Arms can reach back. You could always have arms down by your hips. Pull into that waist. Ooh, how are you doing? Oh. Ooh, come on, just a little bit longer. I need a little me moment there, break. Hey, stupid, you think I want you just because I am a woman. Oh, nice job. Ooh, put your waist down and take a deep breath. Reach your arms and your legs. Oh, yeah. I will get my Go ahead and hug that right knee into the chest. And then extend the leg for a hamstring stretch. You can lift the head up for a moment. And then relax the head, give it a pull. Hug that knee back into the chest and then switch the legs. Back knee in. Extend the leg, lift the head. And then keep that stretch as you lower the head down. Knee into the chest, both knees in, rock yourself up. Front leg, you're gonna stomp it to the outside of your back leg. Pull the knee into the chest and then twist. Let's let it go, let's do the other leg. Stomp it to that front. Pull the knee in, lift the chest and twist. Send the leg out, flip it to all four, cat cow, hands under shoulders, tuck the tailbone round into your back, and then inhale, look up, do one more, and then we're going to thread, so take the front arm, slide it through, and you can reach that back arm forward, ear to the ground, 
can look to your hip. Take yourself up and let's do the other side. Back arm reaches forward. And then back to all four. We're gonna down dog. Heels press down, give them a good stretch. Bend the knees, walk your hands to those feet. You're gonna roll up. We'll do quad stretch standing, grabbing that right foot. So heel into the foot, into the hand. Switch that leg. How's your balance been, right? Release that foot, roll the shoulders back. Two more rolls. And then have that big inhale, attitude of gratitude, reaching it up, reaching it back. Pull it into your heart, touch that skin, feel your heart beating. Big inhale, let it go. Oh my gosh, that went by so fast. I definitely know why you guys do love no repeats because sometimes they are great. You get a lot in for your time and you're like, wow, that went by, we said this, that went by fast and you got full body. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me say thank you to my crew. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Ka Jen. I was gonna call you Carol. Thank you, Liza. Thank you, Carol. She's my twin today, right? We actually have the same shorts on and a same bra from the same company, but different uh, cut. Yeah, Athleta. Um, but you guys, if you enjoyed it, thumb it up, comment below. If you want more, hit that join button, all that great stuff. Share this with your friends, work out with your friends. It does make a difference, doesn't it? If you don't have a tribe, you're always with us. We're your friends. We love you guys, and we will see you at the next workout. Take care.